Hi friends, Professor Joe here. I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about trend lines. How trend lines are drawn and how trend lines can be used for trading. Yes. Watch the video carefully so that you do not miss out on the important tips that I tell you about trend lines and how to use them for trading. And friends, if you're still not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon. I keep creating a lot of educational videos on trading, stocks, crypto, options, and many related topics so that you won't miss out on any of these. Let us get back onto the topic for the day. Trend lines. So what are trend lines? Trend lines are lines that are drawn on a swing high and a swing low especially in a trending market. So basically, there are three types of trends. There's an uptrend, there's a downtrend, and there's a sideways trend. Trend lines are most useful when the market is trending in one direction. In a bearish market, it is drawn by connecting the lower highs. So that is how a trend line is drawn. So on the other side of the trend, also a trend line is drawn so that a zone can be created. So that you know if you are entering a trade, where to exit a trade. For example, like you can see, this is a price movement. The price went high, came back to a lower low. Then went back to a lower high, came back to a lower low and again came back to a lower high. So when you draw a line connecting the high, the lower high and the lower high again, that is the second lower high, you see that a trend line is drawn. Now, always remember, just like a support and resistance, trend line is also a zone. So, just drawing one line will not help you. See, if you look at the middle dark black line, in the first case, the price has gone a little above it. In the second case, the price is a little below it. And in the third case, the price is exactly touching the black line. So, that is how you will have to draw trend lines in the market you will never get a perfect trend line. It has to be in a zone. Now, by connecting the lower lows, you get an idea that what is the range of the swing? When there is a pullback, how much the price is moving up? And when the run is happening, how much the price is going to go down? So this is how a bearish trend line looks like. All right, so like you can see, in a bullish trend, the price first makes a low, then makes a high then makes a higher low, then makes a higher high, then makes even a higher low and makes a, even a higher high. Now, how is the trend line drawn over here? By connecting the higher lows. Like you can see over here, you connect the higher lows and a trend line is drawn. And like earlier I have explained, this is also a zone. So in some case, you will see the price touching the black line. Some cases you will see the price is going below the black line and in some case you will see that the price is barely touching the black line okay so it should always be a zone and when you will draw a line connecting the highs higher highs and higher high the second higher high you will see that a swing range has been created how much is the pullback and how much is the run so like you can see when the trend is bullish the run range will be higher than the pullback. And when the trend is bearish, you will see that the run range is longer than the pullback. That is why in a bullish trend, you should look for bullish trades. And in a bearish trend, you should look for a bearish trade. There are some features about trend lines. Like for example, the price is never smooth. So you will never find a particular trend line which is like perfect. It should always be in zones. So a little bit up, a little bit down. A lot of people say, should you make a trend line touching the tail of the candles or touching the body? As long as the line is touching some part of the candle, you can consider it as a trend line. You don't have to be very, very particular about it. But the price has to move back from there. Okay. If, if the price is crossing the trend line and going above or going below, then that trend line is not a valid trend line. So the, the price has to touch the trend line, either it can pierce, the body can pierce the trend line and come back down or the body is barely touching the trend line and then turning back down or 
the it touches the trend line exactly and turns back down so in case of trend lines you will actually in the markets there is nothing like perfection you always have to learn to understand by looking at the charts okay so trend line is one of those trend line also act as a support and resistance so in an uptrend you will see that the resistance keeps moving up and the support keeps moving up so in a downtrend or in a bearish trend you will see that the resistance is moving low and also the support is moving low so uh, basically trend lines are a support and resistance zones in a trend whereas when the market is sideways it will become very difficult to draw trend lines in terms of trend lines that are moving either up or down because in a sideways market the price also keeps moving up and down and it is not very symmetric so in that case you will have to draw a flat support and resistance zones this is much easier to understand in a sideways market the minimum whenever you are drawing a trend line there has to be minimum two touch points there can be more touch points but the third touch point is the place where you can enter into a trade and if you get a opportunity at the fourth touch point you can again enter into a trade but more touch points does not guarantee you that the price is going to reverse from there it is just another point okay but to draw a trend line you need minimum two touch points and you are looking for an opportunity to buy or sell at the third touch point so whenever you are drawing a trend line don't try to force a trend line into a price chart it has to be clearly visible okay it it should not be like you are really trying hard to draw it in different different ways no it has to be very very clear the price is almost touching touching or crossing but it has to be in that zone so it's very very important that you don't force a trend line into your charts now let us look an example in a bearish market how would you draw a trend line so example this is your price movement you can see the price movement from a low it went to high and then it came to a lower low then it went to a lower high and then the price came back to a lower low now you can see you have two points point number 1 is your high point number 2 is your lower high now you draw a line touching the high and the lower high and you extend the line extending the line is very very important because that is where you are going to look for the opportunity for your trade after that you see that the price from the second lower low point it moves up and it goes up and touches the trend line now that is the area which is of interest for every single trader the one that is highlighted in green that is the area where the trader want to go for a sell call but just that is not enough at the same time you can draw a trend line touching the low lower low and the next lower low why so that now you know what is the range of the price run you know the pullback but now what is more important is you need to know how much this price can go down so can go down is the area till the trend line goes down so that is another indicator where to exit the trade now if you are a new trader always go for 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio but if you are an experienced trader you can stay in the trend as long as the trend continues now you have got one area of confluence that is the trend line the price has reached the trend line for the third time now the second confluence that you have to look for is a support area getting converted into a resistance area because we are here looking for a bearish call so let us see if we can find such a area which was earlier a support and now has got converted into a resistance lower low number 1 was a support area and if you draw a horizontal line you can see that it is also become a resistance area at the lower high point number 2 where you can see the green arrow that means this area is an area of confluence this area is the area where the war between the bulls and the bears are going to happen now once you know this is the area of confluence where the trend line is also meeting the support and resistance line is also meeting now this is where you have to look for the trader's psychology who is winning are the bulls psychology more strong or are the bear psychology more strong 
So now you have to go in depth and check the candlestick pattern at this confluence area. Now, if you find candlesticks like this, bearish engulfing pattern, shooting star, that gives you a clear indication that the psychology at that particular confluence area is bearish. The bears are more strong in that area. You can go for a sell call. Put your stop loss above the resistance area. At that particular confluence area, you see a maru bozu, something like this, a big green candle, which is breaking through the resistance zone and the trend line. That means the psychology of the bulls are very, very strong at this confluence area. They have decided to take on this price. The chances are there that this is going to be a breakout trade and the price is going to go up from there. So if you see this kind of candle, which is a Marubozu candle or even a bullish engulfing candle, then avoid entering into a trade over there because the market psychology at that confluence is bullish. Once you have taken your call, you know your stop loss is above the resistance and your take profit is at the trend line. So you know how long the swing can run and you can exit when the price reaches the trend line. In some cases, it will be 1 is to 5. In some cases, it can be 1 is to 7. And in some cases, it can be 1 is to 10. There are chances that the price can reverse back a little bit and then again continue with the trend. So this is where experience plays an important role. New traders can exit here with a 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio. But experienced traders who understand the trend very well can continue in the trend till the price reaches the trend line because they have a very, very strong psychology. Let us go on to the charts and let us see if we can find a good bearish call. Okay, friends, uh, since we are taking an example of a bearish trade, I am taking a currency. Okay, else I would have tried to do it on a stock. So we will pick up Euro USD, and this is a daily chart of Euro USD that you can see on the screen. You can clearly see that the trend is a downtrend, a bearish trend. So now let us draw a trend line and see whether we can find a good trend line zone over here. So I will pick up the line, trend line, and I will see. So I can see from here. The second line and okay, so so when the price is over here, you have already drawn your trend line. Okay, this is where you have already drawn your trend line and you extend the trend line and you keep it. Okay, so you are extending the trend line and keeping when when the first point and when the second point is already done. Okay, so your trend line is drawn after the first point and the second point. Remember that. The third point is happening later on. But just to show you an example, I am drawing this over here. At the same time, you need to draw the zone. Okay. So uh, in this case, since the trend line is kind of a perfect trend line, it is touching uh, the price at both the areas and even in the third area, I am not going to make three lines over here. Now, what I am going to do is make the the range of the trend line okay so i will pick up this another indicator which is parallel channel and i will draw it from here so it will work as number one as a zone for the upper trend line i'll make it a little bit long okay and i will pull it down now why did i pull it down so that i know the range Okay, so my range should be till here. Why my range should be till here? Because after the first high, it made a low. It is touching this. It made a second high. It made a low. Twice it is touching it. So I know that the third time, the price will surely come and touch this trend line over here. A good support area getting converted into a resistance area. So let us see if we can find something like that. I will just increase the size of the chart, make it a little bit taller so that it is clear, make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, so I will take the square and I will take this support area over here and see if I am able to find something like that. And yes, I am able to find something like that. So your first high, your low, your second high, 
it breaks the low it goes down creates a clear trend line and then the price comes back to the support area which has become a resistance area and this is where you're going to look for a sell now the third point is the market psychology in this area now you look at the candlestick patterns how they are developing over there once the price reaches it did not touch the trend line it came down it went back it came down and the third time it went back it touched the trend line you see a bearish engulfing candle over here a big bearish engulfing candle if you enter the trade at the end of this candle let us take a trade forecaster sell position Above the trend line is your stop loss. It's 180 points. And you can see the price went all the way down over here. To almost 579 points. Actually, if you would be an experienced trader, you would continue because the price went back to the trend line and turned back again. So if you would be an experienced trader, you would go till over here which is almost almost like seven times okay but if you are a new trader you would go with a this to reward wherein you are exiting the trade at 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 or somewhere over here which is almost 1 is to 2.5 so you see that by using this trend lines and support and resistance and candlestick pattern you can really pick good trades in the market. I hope after seeing this explanation, it is very, very clear that you have understood how to draw a trend line. Remember, you will have to practice a lot to get it right. Okay, markets require you to spend time in the markets. Then only you're going to learn the tricks of the market. So make sure that you draw your trend lines well. Consider your trend lines to be trend line zones. So a little bit above it and a little bit below it should be considered as a trend line zone. If you're entering into a trade, make sure there is a confluence of a support or a resistance at the trend line zone and also look for good candlestick patterns, whether it's a bullish trade or a bearish trade, because the psychology of the traders play a very, very important role at that area of confluence. And how to exit the trade, I hope that is also clear. Either you go for a fixed target of 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3 risk to reward, or you can wait till the price reaches the lower band of the trend line. Now, friends, all these things, you're not going to learn it overnight. You require practice, a lot of patience and persistence in the market. Spend time in the markets, learn the right tricks. This way, you will make sure in long term, you will be a successful trader. Friends, I have written a book. Traders, you can win, but first learn to lose. This book talks about taking small losses when you're wrong and take big profits when you're right. It also talks about different aspects of technical analysis and a couple of trading strategies. It's not a very big book. It's a small book which has a lot of knowledge in it. If you're interested, it's available in Amazon and Kindle. I have shared a lot of my experiences in this particular book. And friends, if you love the way I'm creating content, Please like and share these videos. So like you, there might be many others who are interested in learning trading the right way. These videos will surely help them to improve their trading. I've created a lot of videos and in future, I'll be creating many more videos. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also, please ring the bell icon so that whenever I create a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Friends, I have created a trading training video. The link is given in the description. Kindly go through it and learn the basics of trading before you enter the markets with your hard-earned money. All I can say is keep learning, keep growing. Thank you. Namaskar.